It's just been Passover. Pesach we say Hebrew. Why is it? It can take a, it can take many people about four weeks to get back to their regular routine once Passover's finished. I've got clients who it takes them more, it takes them far longer. What's going on here? If any of you are subscribed to our mailing list, you will have read our campaign before Passover. It's about this. Life is all about transitions. Day turns to night, night turns to day, the seasons change, we grow older, people move away, we move. Children get older, they, they change years at school, they change to high school. Life is all about moving on. However, we as human beings do not like change. It makes us nervous. It makes us fearful. This is one of the main reasons why you can't talk to people four weeks before Sukkot, which is the Jewish holiday in September. You can't talk to the people four weeks before Pesach, they're Passover, they're busy, busy preparing, or one of my non-Jewish clients before Christmas. But if you take this idea to heart, which I'm going to explain to you, you'll see, you'll find yourself starting to transition through life easier and that anxiety will lessen. Before any major life change, sit down and try to plan. Now, if you find this difficult, this is because some of us only see time coming towards us at a very limited time span. One of my clients said she only sees the next half an hour coming towards her. Another client said they see five days, but they can't plan further than five days. If you find this a challenge, there are tools to help you. Let's say you're okay with this. Um, sit down before Passover and plan what you would like to do once Passover has finished, you've tidied up, the house is clean, once the kids are back in school, that week, what do you want to do? What are you doing on the first day that the kids are back at school? It might only be one idea. Write it down. The next day, the second day that the kids are back at school after Passover, what are you going to do? Write it down. And hang that list up in sight where you see it. After Passover, you know we forget. We feel upside down. Look at that list and it will help to ground you. Plan before the event. Many people, myself included, are free birds. They hate planning because they feel that planning is going to cage them in like this. You know what? Unfortunately, we do have to pin ourselves down and we have to plan. But when you plan, it actually frees you and gives you more time, gives you more emotional freedom, gives you more headspace to do the tasks that you really want to do. So, before your next life change, perhaps it's the summer holidays, perhaps it's Christmas, perhaps it's something else, sit down and plan that first week what you're going to do once that holiday or event has passed. Subscribe to our channel, click on the like button and wait for our next update next week.